Over 15,000 Valdostans don't know where their next meal is coming from. But Second Harvest is hoping to change that with a larger food bank. I'm Malia Thomas, your neighborhood reporter in Valdosta, and I'm taking a look at the need in my neighborhood. If you've been driving on Old Clientville Road, chances are you've seen the construction of a new building. That will be the home of Second Harvest's new operation. Officials told me in an update that the new facility will be open next year, and they plan on adding increased storage for dry and cold food, a kids' cafe kitchen, a senior meal service, and a dedicated space for volunteers. Such programs will further help South Georgians who don't know where their next meal is coming from, like Jeffrey Sermons. That ain't a good feeling. You may remember Jeffrey from my last story on food insecurity. I ran back into him traveling to get a meal from Lamp. He tells me dealing with his illness makes a lack of a consistent meal much scarier for him. Ooh, how my diabetes gonna act up with that? And then how my blood pressure gonna do with it sometime? He also doesn't have a working vehicle at the moment, and with the new community soup kitchen being in a farther location, Jeffrey tells me he has to use meals at his job to hold him over when he can. I get tired of riding a bicycle sometimes. There's something you can't ride it when it's raining. That's why Second Harvest is undergoing a $25 million building project to help neighbors like Jeffrey and the other 83,000 South Georgians dealing with food insecurity. Eliza McCall, Chief Programming Director for Second Harvest, tells me the new programs they plan on adding will hopefully decrease the hunger we're seeing. I'm excited because we know that need is there and that we're going to be able to do something to fix it. Second Harvest plans on opening up their new facility in about 13 months. In Valdosta, I'm Malia Thomas, reporting for ABC 27.